All right, another windy day in Montana, and I'm here working on my clay. Um, I'm going to do the hands, I think, out of uh, monster clay. Um, just haven't really decided yet. Um, first things first, I've got to uh, finish a couple of things here. I'm going to paint the uh, nice sheet so it looks like the rest of the clay. Time to play with some clay. I got the uh, monster clay painted to look like the rest of the clay so it doesn't get confusing to the eye especially when I start photographing the uh, finished clay to try to sell some um, for those of you new to my videos I uh, took a, a sample of uh, this clay to a paint shop uh, in this case it was uh, true value and uh, they matched the color of the clay uh, with paint and it's an indoor paint and it's a flat uh, matte finished paint water soluble so I can go clean my brush out in the sink and I'm going to go do that right now I was going to show you me painting it but somebody called me just as I started painting well if you want the sound of wind blowing uh, this is the video for you <laughs> It is blowing outside. That usually happens when the uh, temperatures change. It's uh, gone from 20 degrees up to 50 degrees today. Block in the hand. Okay, I'll come back when I get this a little further along. This is something I cover in my videos, my instructional videos, and uh, I'm not going to do it here. All right, be back. Well, I got the hands started, and uh, I'll come back after I get them wrapped around the stick and get a little more detail into the hands. Well, maybe I'll do that now. Let's see. Better take this one down before it falls. Now I've never done this technique before, so I'm just this is kind of like experimenting.
Okay, it's going to be hard for me to work on this with the cameras, so I'm going to turn the cameras off uh, because I got to get in where the cameras are, and I can't do that while the cameras are recording. I'm using the uh, monster clay more for a uh, base for the hands, and I'll actually use regular clay, my plastiline clay, to give it detail like knuckles and things like that. <sighs> At least that's my thinking right now. I don't know it's gonna work out or not. But the first time for everything. The only reason I'm using monster clay because it's makes a nice base for something delicate like a hand. Okay, I'm trying to get some structure to the hand. Which means that's this will be it for today and I'll come back tomorrow and work on it now I'm gonna take some time off this week but it won't be tomorrow and I may be here Wednesday too so we'll just see how the week goes it is Christmas week and uh, some point I'm gonna have to get some Christmasy stuff done well for myself <laughs> I got no family up here. They're all down in Salt Lake or in that area. All right, everybody, have a great night, and uh, I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, this. This is working out good now. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.